Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Our first break of the day is 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. It's a half case uh, from a fresh case. This is random team number 27. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Remember the combo teams? Right there, there they are. Here is break 27. Let's randomize each list seven times. Six and a one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seven times. Uh, Jesse Rager down to Jesse Rager. Seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Six and a one. Red Sox down to the Padres. Padres have a nice, uh, I think they have the third overall pick. So they've got a really nice chance at big autographs too. Okay, uh, Jesse Rager with the Boston Red Sox, Rich with the Mariners, Ryan with the Phillies, Rich with the Rays, there you go. Mike Koontz with the Mets, Rory with the Brewers, Rory, you got your Brewers. Aaron with the Rockies, Rory with the Twins, Twins as well. D-Mac with the Angels, Rick with the Orioles-Cubs combo, Aaron with the Reds, Rick with the Tigers, Jason Cox with the Rangers, Brian Matoy with the Braves, Sam, you got my Dodgers. Ryan D with the A's and the Diamondbacks. Jeff, you got the Cardinals and the Nationals. V with the Marlins. Michael Gallucci of the Astros. Adam with your last spot mojo, Blue Jays. Rick with the Pirates. Josh with the Giants. Adam with the White Sox. Jesse with the Yankees. Alan with the Indians. Colin Matoy with the Royals. And Jesse Rager with the Padres. Now feel free to trade if you would like. While I print this out. Just, just, just the teams you. You can't thank me, Rory. You gotta. You have to thank random.org. I'm, I'm just, I'm just the guy pressing the button. All right. Any trades? I guess while people are considering trades. Let's see which uh, let's see which part of the case we're gonna do. Uh, like I said off camera before, we only have uh, well now after this break we only have three more breaks of Bowman Draft. Keep that in mind. We've got break twenty seven and twenty eight which come from this case, and then break twenty nine and thirty which comes from our last case. And that is it. Although, I think we have, we may have some super jumbo. We may have some super jumbo coming our way. So keep an eye out for that on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Okay, we'll do one, two, three on the die for the top row right here. Top row of four, four, five, six for the bottom. We'll go with this one today. And it's six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this side will reserve, we'll mark it RT. So we know that they're from the same case, it'll be from the next break. Which is already on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So if you want to get a head start on this, go for it. All right, I don't think there's going to be any trade, so let's just rock and roll. So the printout right here, the hot off the presses, on a Thursday, the 28th. There's everyone once again. We got to do, we have to do break 28 on the 28th, right? I'm sure we won't have any trouble selling out the second half of this. All right, good luck, everybody. I'll also drop the uh, 2017 MLB draft Wikipedia page on there in the chat. I think this will give you a good idea of uh, some of the bigger names that you can expect out of here. Obviously, Brendan McKay, two-way player, was the uh, fourth overall pick for the Tampa Bay Rays. That's what Jason, uh, I'm sorry, that's what Rich is looking for. Rory's happy because he has the Twins. They have the number one overall pick, Royce Lewis, who we were learning from some Twins fans yesterday that Royce Lewis is crushing. So maybe we'll see him in the majors sooner rather than later, in a couple years or so, even though he was a high school player. Rob Castillo asking, how much is this Bowman's best random? This is a Bowman draft break, but it was uh, 20 bucks a spot, 19.99.
get you one random team. Low risk, high reward. Three autographs per box and a bunch of parallels. Like a Royce Lewis base autograph. How much would that go for, Rory? He has the twins. Royce Lewis base autograph, a couple hundred bucks maybe. Parallels will sell for obviously a lot more. We pulled a, uh, a orange redemption. That's out of 25. Of the 10th overall pick, Jordan Adele for the Angels. And we looked that up yesterday, and that goes for over $1,000. And that's just a redemption of the 10th overall pick. So th the draft has always been popular because uh, it's uh, it's good old-fashioned prospecting. It's like you're an you're, you're a old uh, gold miner in 1849. Like an old 49er, you know, so... You're prospecting for gold here. And who knows what could happen to any of these rookies or the, any of these prospects, really, draft picks. But if they, if one of these guys ends up being an Aaron Judge or a Cody Bellinger, you know, Clayton Kershaw, Mike Trout, Chris Bryant, that's what you're chasing. Then you'll have one of their first autographs. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Let me make myself some room here. Obviously, everyone knows that paper does not ship, so we will blow through this paper. Don't need it. Don't want it. But the chrome, obviously, will all ship. And obviously, stuff like this will ship. Jemai Jones for the Angels. Purple chrome, 165 out of 250. We'll top load all of these before they get shipped out. Just leaving it now for the sake of time. Three autos per box. Now every case seems to have at least one box that has a bonus auto in it. So we'll keep an eye out for that too. Sometimes if we're lucky, there's two boxes that are like that. There's our first autograph, Austin Beck for the A's. Ryan D with the A's. Austin Beck is your sixth overall pick from North Davidson High School in North Carolina. Out of 499. There you go. And there's some info on him. Delivers all fields thunder with leverage swing and a speedy runner. And a fiery competitor, apparently. He's got that old, like, 70s, 80s style stash, too. That's old school. That, that guy looks like an A's player. All right, that, once again, that goes to Ryan D with that one. And this is all paper. And some orange. Obviously, the orange paper will ship. 20 out of 25, David Thompson. David Thompson for the Mets. That'll be for Mike Koontz and the Mets. I'll sleeve up the lower number ones right away. Tyler Freeman, Sky Blue, 27 out of 399. Second round pick for the uh, Cleveland Indians, Alan Murdoch with that one. Paul T saying, hey, not really a baseball collector, but I do like this product. Yeah, I think this is pretty much, this is a pretty classic product. The design is pretty, uh, pretty clean, pretty classic. They don't do anything too fancy with it. They don't do too much. And um, I think this is pretty much, I guess, what you would you would kind of romantically view the hobby, right? You know, you you try to find these random rookies and see what they turn into. The price point is really friendly. There's Riley Mahan, purple chrome for the Marlins, third pit, third overall or third round pick. 174 out of 250. Exhibits natural bat to ball feel. All right, good defender as well. With the way the Marlins are 
stripping down their team. We might see guys like that sooner rather than later, which is good for you and the Marlins, V. V with that one. They also have the 13th overall pick, too. We've seen some Trevor Rogers autographs as well. Scott Hurst, paper parallel out of 499. For the Redbirds, that'll go to Jeff and the Cardinals, Nationals combo. Some more paper and some more chrome. And purple paper, purple paper majesty. 32 out of 250, Glenn Otto for the Yankees. Jesse Rager with that one. And some more paper here. Another paper parallel for the Rangers, Ariel Gerardo, 24 out of 499, Jason Cox. And another Riley Mahan autograph for V. There you go, starting your Riley Mahan PC. Roy Boy in the house. He's saying that there's Optic Football has one left. Nice. And Bowman's Best has nine left. Excellent. So looks like that Optic Football is going to happen after this. And that is an hour-long break, so be sure you're comfortable. Be sure you get settled in. Go grab something to eat. Although we still have plenty of time left in this break, though. All right, so good start to the day. There's Noah Bremer, 70th. Blue Chrome, 69 of 200. Rangers, that'll be for Jason. It's a lot of paper. And there you have it, there's your first box. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Uh, what team is left in Optic? Optic football. It's a full 12 box break. Should be pretty fun. Remember, folks, the second half of this Bowman Draft case is already available on jazbeeshobbyland.com, so check it out. Oh, the Bears are left. I see. You know, the last time the Bears were last bought mojo, maybe a couple cases ago, someone picked it up. I think it was TJ, actually. He picked up the Bears. He ended up with a Mitch Trubisky out of 10, I think, rated rookie autograph. There is some magic there. Jaspershobbyland.com. Let's finish that off. And remember, folks, that Bowman's Best Baseball, which is basically like draft, but with vet autos, and with um, with no paper, basically it's just all chrome. There's TJ, yeah, he was the recipient of that Mitch Trubisky, Mr. Biscuit. So yeah, that Bowman's Best is really good too, but we're also running out of Bowman's Best. We're running out of draft, running out of draft. There's our second half of the case right there. We're running out of Bowman's Best. You guys are selling us out of house and home. So I appreciate that, folks. But let's keep it going. Let's finish those cases off tonight.
All right, we got Brendan Murphy for the Brew Crew. 220 out of 399. Rory, getting lucky enough to get randomized his team. The Brewers. There you go. Oh, TJ also letting me know some more next level stats. The Bears were out of, uh, were last in the break last night, or the last break that we did of Optic, and we hit a Mitch Trubisky out of 199. Oh, see, there you go. So there is magic there. There's Bubba Thompson, 23 out of 150. That goes to the Rangers, of course. That'll be for Jason Cox. Blue paper, Dalton Jeffries for the A's. 71 out of 150. Kaiboom! Carter Kaiboom. Leads us off, some paper. And our first autograph, wow. His first autograph is green. Green chrome Connor Wong autograph for the Dodgers. Sam Golden with that Dodger Joe Mojo. 29 out of 99. Confident hitter who's rarely fooled. Rips liners all over the field. Displays rare speed and base running. Acumen for his position. He's a catcher. Agile back. You know, the Dodgers have actually been picking up. They have a, they have a few good catchers there in their, uh, in their farm system. Will Smith is another one of those guys. Connor Wong is another one. I think there's like another one too. TJ, isn't there like another catcher that's in the Dodgers organization? There's Connor Wong. There's Will Smith. And I feel like there's one more guy. Besides Austin Barnes, who's already on the big club, but anyhow, that might that might render Yasmani Grandal surplus to requirements, as they say. Three ninety two out of four ninety nine. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Blue Jays. Adam Kupperman. Yeah, the Dodgers might not need the services of Yasmani Grandal in the near future. Right, Farmer and Ruiz. Right, Kyle. F Farmer, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, Dodgers have a lot of catching prospects coming up the ranks. I'm sure some of them can be converted to like other positions if they're young enough, but there's Matt Manning, 51 out of 200 for the Tigers. That'll be for Rick T. But yeah, I don't know if he has Monte Grandal. We'll get, I think he has Monte Grandal. It's one more year of arbitration, too. But after that, I don't know if the Dodgers are going to be holding on to him. There you go. That looks a little different right there. It did. 137 out of 250. Refractor version of these recommended viewing cards. These are cool. Brent McKay and Taylor Walls. Brent McKay is a first baseman, not as a pitcher. But that'll go to the Rays. That'll be for Rich. Your autograph is for the Redbirds. Zach Kirtley goes to the Cardinals-Nationals combo for Jeff Goldberg. And Kyle Wright, nice one for the Braves. Brian Matoy with Kyle Wright. Your fifth overall pick in the 2017 baseball draft. And he is a Vanderbilt pitcher. Vanderbilt always produces some nice pitchers. 182 out of 499. Walker Bueller is another one of those. He's a Dodger player, one of the recent graduates of Vanderbilt. Should be it for the autographs, unless there's a bonus one here. We do have some green paper. There's Austin Beck. 
34 out of 99. Austin Beck. Who does he remind me of? Does he remind you of old Oakland Athletic Carney Langsford? You guys remember Carney Langsford? Am I just making that name up? Yeah, it kind of looks like Carney Lansford. <laughs> no? Did I just blow your mind with a Carney Lansford reference? Some of you old school guys might be like, yeah, Carney Lansford. All right. Halfway through this half case break, uh, Paul T's thinking maybe a, a young Mark McGuire. I don't know. Austin Beck definitely looks like an athletic, though. 70s, 80s edition athletic. All right. Next box. Uh, Rob Castillo was asking earlier, does anyone know how much he should put, he should sell an autograph of Aaron Judge from 2017 Stadium Club? Um... He was thinking 150 with free shipping. Does anyone else have any uh, advice? I think TJ is right, though, Rob. The best way to kind of gauge uh, a price would be to look uh, look on your uh, sold items on eBay, really. You know, that'll kind of give you a general idea. There you go, Joe Cavanaugh. I was like, I haven't heard that name since I played Stratomatic in high school. Yeah, I don't know how I pulled that name out of the, out, of, out of this hat here. Out of my my deep baseball, I probably wouldn't know him if he didn't play on the West Coast for much of his career. It's somehow, that there must have been like some old childhood memory of Carney Lansford, like being buried into my head. He played for the Angels and he played for the A's, of course. I remember him as an A. I don't think I've ever seen him play. Like on, I don't know why I even remember that name. All right, well, anyway. Next box. Good luck, everybody. And we've got Brent Rooker. 144 out of 250, your 35th overall pick. Purple paper for Rory and the Twins. Glenn Otto for the Yankees. 389 out of 399. Yeah, 399. For the Yankees, that's for Jesse. What are some other old school names from that era, folks? More I, I need more from that Carney Lansford era. 80s, early 90s. I think I I would probably familiar, be more familiar with like random Dodger players from from the uh, 90s. Remember, uh, you guys remember Cal Daniels? That's a good one, Cal Daniels. Blake Hunt out of 399. That'll go to the Padres, that'll be for Jesse and the Friars. Now I'm, I'm talking. I'm not talking like big names. Like pa Pedro Guerrero won like an MVP, didn't he? Yeah, Ron Say is a pretty familiar. I'm talking like Carney Lansford level. You know what I mean? Hiller, what's going on, man? Frank Hiller hitting in Jaspie's breaks recently. He's been doing well. Lock him up. Locking up the Lock hits. Up, Locking up the hits is what Hiller's doing. Jeter Downs. 
Cincinnati Reds. That'll go to Aaron. Aaron Sai with that. There you go. Yeah, Chris Sabo. That's a good one. Like you're, I'm talking like kind of po semi popular, maybe an all star or two, but not like, you know, not like Hall of Famers or, 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 or you know, bigger names like that, you know, or big award winners. I'm talking like maybe second tier guys that were really solid. You know, see, Austin Beck really looks like Carney Lansford to me. <laughs> nice Jose Tavares orange. Orange chrome for the Phillies. Ryan D with that one. Oil can void. <laughs> yeah, Kent Tecuve is a good one. Chris Sabo, Mickey Tettleton. Man, I, Mickey Tettleton, that's a good one, Josh Pruz. 16 out of 25 on that, Jose Tavares. That's for Ryan D and the Phillies. Mickey Tettleton. That's nice. Yeah, I haven't quite gotten the criteria yet, but I think you guys are on the right track. Those kind of players. Uh, 136 out of 499. I, am, I, do, I do not remember Aurelio Lopez. Senor Smoke. The uh, Anderson Tejeda out of 499 went to Jason Cox, by the way. Tristan McKenzie for the Tribe. Alan Murdoch with the Purple Chrome. 187 out of 250. I vaguely remember Craig Nettles. Greg Nettles? Craig Nettles? Craig. Craig Nettles? Boss man, do you remember Carney Lansford? Carney Lansford? Angels, baby, for do, a while. That's true, actually, yeah. Yes. Third baseman. Yep. Mickey Tettleton, another one you just read off. Uh, I feel like. Let's see if we can find an Austin Beck. Doesn't this doesn't this guy kind of doesn't Austin Beck kind of remind you of, of Cardi Lansford, that mustache? Wow, yeah. You know, and he, he, he had the blonde yeah, sort of locks, yeah, and he, the blonde mustache. Austin Beck looks like an A's player, like a seventies, eighties yeah. era A's player. Yeah. He's got the look. Oh, John Candelaria. Remember Candy Maldonado? Yeah. Drew Waters. Will Drew Waters be the next Candy Maldonado? There's Drew Waters. 41st overall pick for the Braves. That'll go to Brian Matoy. Didn't Dave, I, I don't know if Dave Parker counts Josh Pruce. Didn't he win like an MVP? Big Dave Parker? I'm talking about like second tier guys, you know, like like the guys Parker's that. Parker's that tier where Tony Perez was. He was stuck in that. Yeah. He was stuck in there forever and then he finally made it to the hall. Parker is in the same boat as Perez. No, Kettleton is not. Or Perez is much better. Or Parker is much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, ta I'm talking like, I'm talking about second tier guys, you guys. Yeah. You know, maybe they got to an all star or two, someone you always remember from like childhood, but yeah. but like they're never gonna be in the Hall of Fame, you know. What, Dante Bichette? But yeah, guys like that who had like a couple big couple years. Really big years. Quentin Holmes, one twenty six out of one fifty, but everyone will remember Dante Bichette, that kind of thing. That's for the tribe. That goes to Alan Murdoch with that autograph. I don't remember Sasser. Mickey Sasser. Don't right? remember him. Yeah, that's what Joe Cowan yeah. was saying. Mickey Sasser. I do remember Dave Dravecki. He's rest in peace. He lost his arm. Right. Yeah, maybe. His arm fell off, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, last box, folks. Thanks for indulging this trip down, uh, this random trip down memory lane. You never know what's going to happen in these case breaks on jazbeeshobbyland.com, folks. You never know where the baseball discussion will go when we're doing a baseball break. Chuck Knobloch, that's a good one, Rich. Remember when he uh, he had the yips? 
Remember that? I think he was he was played second base for the Yankees. Had the yips. Like Steve Sachs. Rex, what's going on, man? J.R. Richard. All right, last box, folks. Three more autographs to go. Pretty solid so far. We have the second half in the store right now. So be sure to uh, take a look at the second half on jazbeeshobbyland.com. I think Juan Gonzalez is a little too higher tier for the for this conversation. Greg, Greg Vaughn. Now Vaughn. Greg Vaughn would be a better one. Todd Zeal. There you go. Todd Zeal. That's a classic. Albert Bell. Albert, Joey Bell. Joey Bell. Albert Bell. All right, last box, folks. Uh, Roy saying, as a Dodger fan, he always hated Tom Browning for the Reds. I remember Tom Browning. It's always good against the Dodgers. Oh, Twenty game winner. Will Crow for the Nationals out of three ninety nine. That'll go to Jeff and the Nats. Just paper right there. See what our last three autographs are going to be. More paper. There's Carney Lansford. Uh, Rick Honeycutt's a good one. If you see, he would be a good one, I think. But he's been on the Dodgers organization for so long. He's just far too familiar. Nice. Kevin Merrill. Class of 2017 autograph. Oh, that's a good one, TJ. Ron Karkovice. Uh, White Sox, right? Yes, catcher. Ron Karkovice. 13 out of 50. Kevin Merrill. Nice low number on that one. Ryan D with the A's. Nice insert auto. That might indicate... Might indicate a uh, a bonus auto out here, so let's see. Oh, Casey, that's Roger Clemens' kid right there, folks. Casey Clemens. Oh, Jerome Walton. He was hobby hot. Wow. Wow. Our first Super Fractor autograph for Rory and the Brewers. Wow. Tristan, can you believe Rory got randomized his team? Unbelievable. And he gets a Tristan Lutz Super Fractor autograph. Wow. One of one for your late first round pick, Tristan Lutz. A big physical athlete with conspicuous raw power. There you go. That's that's the look on Rory's face right now. That big smile right there, that's the look on Rory's face right now. Rory, with his Brewers, this is going in the PC, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! That is strong. Nice, Rory. Rory might be dr driving home from work right now. He might be listening to this in the car. Keep your eyes focused on the road, Rory. Or if you're re-watching the video, hopefully you didn't drop your drink or anything like that. 39 out of 499, Scott Kingery for the Phillies. That'll go to Ryan D. Or maybe if Rory, Rory, there he is. I'm driving in the snow. Are you freaking out right now, Rory? There's Brian Miller for the Marlins. 
110 out of 150. That'll go to the Marlins V with the Marlins. All right, and the last bit, folks. There's James Meredith for the Dodgers. Six out of 99. All right, you just focus on the road, Rory. You can, you can freak out in the chat with us a little bit later. Out of 99 for the Dodgers, that'll be for Sam. Uh, we still have one more autograph to go. I don't know if it's going to top that Tristan Lutz Super Fractor, though. Uh, no, we do not, Maddie. Sorry. But you can see what we have available on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Juan Hillman, 33 out of 150 for the Indians, Alan Murdoch. Some more paper here. Royce Lewis. That's also for Rory. That's uh, 354 out of 399. Twins. That goes to Rory, of course. And we close out with my boy Morgan Cooper for the Dodgers. That goes to Sam with my Dodgers. Is your final autograph. It looks like that's that, folks. The rest is just paper. There you have it. What a break. Tristan Lutz, one of one Super Fractor autograph for the Brewers. That's the big one. That was break 27. Uh, the second half of the case is in the store right now on jazbeeshobbyland.com. This could be a hot case, folks. Check it out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.